Earth was a realm of towering forests, colossal creatures, and skies filled with enormous insects. From the Carboniferous to the Permian periods, this was an era when giant insects ruled the land, their size and abundance defying our modern understanding. Join us as we explore the diverse ecosystems of the past, from the rise of these extraordinary insects to the emergence of unique prehistoric vertebrates. Brace yourself for an enthralling adventure into Earth's history, where unimaginable creatures and untold mysteries await. Let's begin. Insects, those tiny creatures that surround us every day, are one of evolution's greatest achievements. They are the true rulers of our planet, comprising three quarters of all animal species. Their numbers are exceptional, with billions upon billions of insects flying, swimming, and crawling, often unnoticed by our human eyes. Their mass is a staggering 300 times greater than that of humanity, yet their small size often leads us to overlook their significance. However, there was a time in Earth's history when insects could not be ignored. Majestic dragonflies with wingspans stretching up to 70 centimeters, or 30 inches, gracefully glide through the air, their iridescent colors catching the light. So when did insects begin their conquest of the land? And how did they evolve into such remarkable forms? To understand this, we must first recognize that all insects are part of a larger group, known as arthropods. Arthropods possess a rigid shell called an exoskeleton and a segmented body. Within the arthropod family, we find insects, crustaceans, spiders, and millipedes. The body of an insect is divided into three main parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. The head houses the vital sensory organs, such as the antennae, eyes, and mouth parts. The thorax is equipped with three pairs of legs and, in most cases, two pairs of wings, providing insects with their characteristic ability to take flight. The abdomen, composed of multiple segments, lacks appendages, and its genital openings are located at the tip. While crustaceans were the first animals to venture out of the water, it took multiple adaptations for hexapods, the group to which insects belong, to diverge from their crustacean relatives. However, the most significant and revolutionary adaptation in the history of insects was the appearance of wings. The evolution of wings unlocked new possibilities for insects, allowing them to conquer the skies and explore vast distances. Wings bestowed them with unparalleled mobility, enabling them to seek resources, evade predators, and ultimately thrive in diverse environments. This adaptation marked a turning point in the history of insects, paving the way for their remarkable success and the proliferation of their species. Now let's take a look at the rise and fall of the giant insects and the prehistoric vertebrates. If we step back in time to the Carboniferous period, approximately 359 to 299 million years ago, we enter a world dominated by the awe-inspiring giant insects. These arthropods, which successfully conquered the land, emerged through a gradual process of adaptation from their aquatic crustacean ancestors, marking a pivotal moment in the evolutionary history of life on Earth. One of the most significant factors in their divergence from their aquatic relatives was the development of wings, a transformative adaptation that propelled them towards terrestrial dominance. Insects underwent a multitude of adaptations to thrive in the new challenges presented by life on land. The transition from a water-based environment to a terrestrial one required overcoming the risk of desiccation and the need to regulate salt levels. To combat desiccation, insects evolved cuticles, a protective outer layer composed of chitin and protein. 
These cuticles played a crucial role in limiting water evaporation, allowing insects to retain moisture within their bodies. This adaptation not only prevented excessive water loss, but also provided structural support, protecting them from physical damage and predation. Furthermore, insects revolutionized their respiratory systems to accommodate the demands of terrestrial life. Instead of relying on gills to extract oxygen from water, they developed a network of tiny tubes called tracheae, which allowed for direct gas exchange with the environment. These tracheal tubes extended throughout their bodies, delivering oxygen directly to their tissues and removing carbon dioxide. Tracheal respiration offered several advantages, including more efficient gas exchange, increased mobility, and reduced reliance on water for respiration. Insects also developed intricate mechanisms to maintain their internal water balance and eliminate waste. One notable adaptation is the presence of malphigian tubules, specialized structures in their excretory systems. These tubules efficiently extract waste products, such as nitrogenous compounds, while conserving valuable water resources. By conserving water and effectively eliminating waste, insects were able to thrive in diverse environments, from arid deserts to humid forests, further expanding their ecological range. The reproductive strategies of insects underwent remarkable changes during their transition to land. Unlike their aquatic crustacean ancestors, which often relied on external fertilization in water, insects had to adapt to reproduce without the aid of water. This led to the evolution of intricate courtship behaviors, pheromone communication, and elaborate reproductive structures. For example, male insects developed specialized organs, such as claspers or modified legs, to aid in successful mating. Female insects, in turn, evolved various adaptations to store and protect their eggs until hatching. These reproductive adaptations allowed insects to effectively reproduce in diverse terrestrial habitats. Another pivotal aspect of insect evolution during the Carboniferous period was the diversification of feeding strategies. Changes in mouthparts allowed insects to specialize in different diets and exploit a wide range of food sources. Some insects developed chewing mouthparts, enabling them to consume plant material, while others evolved piercing, sucking mouthparts to feed on fluids from plants or other organisms. Additionally, certain insects, such as the formidable predators of the time, including the saber-jawed beetle, the stealthy assassin bug, and the ambush wasp, evolved powerful mandibles or specialized mouthparts to capture and consume prey. These adaptations facilitated the exploitation of available resources, contributing to the remarkable ecological diversity of the giant insects. The rise of giant insects during the Carboniferous period offers us a fascinating glimpse into the dynamic process of adaptation and evolutionary innovation from the development of cuticles and tracheal respiration to the intricate reproductive behaviors and specialized mouthparts, every adaptation and trait played a crucial role in the success and diversification of insects. Their conquest of the land and subsequent dominance of terrestrial ecosystems forever altered the course of life on Earth. As we delve deeper into the captivating world of the giant insects, we unveil the intricate web of evolutionary forces and environmental factors that shaped their incredible journey. The development of wings, along with a multitude of other adaptations, allowed these remarkable creatures to soar through the skies, explore new habitats, and establish themselves as pivotal components of ancient ecosystems. Let us continue our exploration of Earth's history with the prehistoric vertebrates. Among them were the pioneers of the land, the tetrapods, four-legged vertebrates that made the monumental leap from water to land, forever altering the course of evolution. One notable member of this group was Ariops, an amphibian that thrived during the late Carboniferous and early Permian periods. With its sturdy legs and muscular body, 
Ariops was uniquely adapted to terrestrial life. It navigated the land with ease, utilizing its legs to support its weight and traverse diverse habitats. This amphibian was a carnivorous predator, feasting on a diet of insects, small reptiles, and even other amphibians. Ariops exemplified the successful adaptation of vertebrates to the challenges and opportunities presented by the terrestrial environment. While tetrapods forged their path on land, the ancient oceans teemed with another fascinating group of creatures, corals. These intricate colonies, composed of tiny individual polyps, established a symbiotic relationship with algae known as zoozanthellae. The corals provided shelter and nutrients for the algae, while the algae, in turn, supplied the corals with energy through photosynthesis. This symbiosis allowed corals to thrive and form massive reefs that spanned vast areas of the ancient seas. These coral reefs not only provided a habitat for numerous marine species, but also played a crucial role in shaping the structure and biodiversity of marine ecosystems. Among the remarkable prehistoric vertebrates of the ancient oceans, one creature stands out for its extraordinary dental structure. Heliocoprion, the spiral-toothed shark. This enigmatic shark possessed a unique dental wheel composed of a spiral strip of teeth. Unlike the teeth of most sharks, which are continually shed and replaced, Heliocoprion's teeth remained in a spiral formation throughout its life. This peculiar dental adaptation allowed it to effectively capture and consume soft-bodied organisms, such as cephalopods. While the exact function and feeding mechanism of the tooth wheel remain a subject of scientific debate, Heliocoprion's distinctive dental structure undoubtedly made it an exceptional predator of its time. The world of prehistoric vertebrates unveils a captivating tapestry of adaptation, diversity, and evolutionary innovation. From the tetrapods that ventured onto land, conquering new frontiers, to the corals that shaped the marine ecosystems with their majestic reefs, and the enigmatic Heliocoprion with its spiral tooth wheel, these ancient creatures left an indelible mark on Earth's history. The rise of synapsids marks a pivotal chapter in the evolutionary history of life on Earth. It all began with the emergence of amniotic eggs, which allowed certain vertebrates to thrive in diverse environments and beyond the confines of water. Two distinct groups of amniotes emerged, synapsids and sauropsids. Synapsids, in particular, embarked on a remarkable journey that eventually led to the evolution of mammals. As they gradually diverged from their reptilian ancestors, synapsids developed a range of unique features and adaptations that set them apart. Meanwhile, the sauropsids, which include reptiles and dinosaurs, including the magnificent birds, took their own evolutionary path. Among the synapsids, early pioneers paved the way for the eventual rise of mammals. These early synapsids, often referred to as pre-mammals, played significant roles in shaping the course of evolution. Species like Hylonomus, a small reptile-like creature, and Archaeothyrus, a primitive synapsid, were instrumental in the transition from reptilian ancestors to true mammals. However, one of the most iconic and awe-inspiring synapsids of the Carboniferous forests was the Dimetrodon. This basal synapsid stood out with its distinctive sail-like dorsal spines, projecting a formidable presence in its environment. Dimetrodon was an apex predator, wielding powerful jaws and sharp teeth that made it a fearsome hunter. Its sail, likely used for thermoregulation or display, added to its striking appearance. With its dominance in the Carboniferous forests, Dimetrodon exemplified the apex predators of its time, demonstrating the incredible diversity and adaptive success of synapsids. The synapsids' evolutionary journey laid the foundation for the development of mammals as we know them today. Over millions of years, synapsids continued to diversify and adapt, eventually giving rise to the vast array of mammalian species that inhabit our planet. From small scurrying creatures 
to majestic mammals of the land, sea, and air, their lineage thrived and flourished. Exploring the rise of synapsids not only illuminates the story of our distant ancestors, but also unveils the intricate web of life's interconnectedness. It reminds us of the enduring legacy of these ancient creatures and their profound impact on the course of evolution. The synapsid's journey serves as a testament to the wonders of adaptation, survival, and the endless possibilities that arise from the complex tapestry of life on Earth. In the Permian period, a time of great ecological and evolutionary changes, witnessed a significant event in the history of Earth's ancient inhabitants the decline and ultimate extinction of the once dominant giant insects. These colossal creatures, which had roamed the planet for millions of years, succumbed to the pressures of a changing world. Numerous factors contributed to the demise of these giant insects, foremost among them being a mass extinction event that occurred during the late Permian period. This catastrophic event, known as the Permian-Triassic Extinction Event, or the Great Dying, stands as the most severe extinction event in Earth's history. It resulted in the eradication of an estimated 90 to 95 percent of marine species and around 70 percent of terrestrial species, including the giant insects that once thrived. The causes of the Permian-Triassic extinction event are still a subject of scientific debate, but a combination of factors likely played a role. Changes in climate, marked by intense global warming, may have triggered a cascade of environmental disturbances. Massive volcanic eruptions, such as those associated with the Siberian traps, released vast quantities of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, leading to a rise in global temperatures. This sudden climate change would have had profound effects on the ecosystems that supported giant insects, disrupting their habitats and food sources. Furthermore, the evolution and emergence of new species during this time period may have also played a role in the decline of giant insects. As ecosystems underwent significant changes, new groups of organisms evolved, competing with the giant insects for resources. The arrival of new predators, or the rise of more efficient and specialized herbivores, could have further impacted the survival of these once dominant insects. The extinction of giant insects marked the end of an era, forever altering the landscape of Earth's ecosystems. The disappearance of these immense arthropods left ecological gaps that would be filled by other organisms over time. The subsequent evolution of smaller, more specialized insects contributed to the diversity and balance of ecosystems in the post-Permian world. Studying the extinction of giant insects not only sheds light on their fascinating evolutionary history, but also provides valuable insights into the dynamics of our planet's ancient ecosystems. It serves as a stark reminder of the vulnerability of even the most successful and dominant species in the face of environmental changes. Understanding the past can help us navigate the challenges of the present and future as we strive to protect and preserve the incredible diversity of life that exists on our planet. As we reflect upon the ancient world of giant insects and prehistoric vertebrates, we are left with a sense of awe and curiosity. The Earth's history is a tapestry of extraordinary creatures and evolutionary marvels, each playing a unique role in shaping the intricate web of life. From the soaring wings of insects to the pioneering journeys of tetrapods and synapsids, we have witnessed the triumphs and challenges of these ancient inhabitants. Yet amidst the wonder and grandeur, one question lingers in our minds. What other untold wonders lie hidden within the depths of our planet's history? Like, share, comment, and watch more content like this here.